The ROG Ally from Asus has received overwhelmingly positive feedback since its recent announcement from almost every tech enthusiast. And what have we seen so far? They intend to make a major impact while competing with other portable giants like GPD, Aya Neo, and Steam Deck in order to determine whether the ROG Ally has what it takes to outperform the competition. Among the other competitor, we will compare it to the Aya Neo 2 in this video. Let's dive in. Starting with the design, Asus has truly excelled themselves with the amazing ROG Ally, which seamlessly integrates the iconic ROG branding into a striking white chassis. Even in its early prototype stage, fans are already praising its stunning aesthetics. The left side boasts a convenient D-pad, an analog stick, and two extra buttons for added functionality. Similarly, the right side features ABXY buttons, an analog stick, and two operational buttons for a comprehensive gaming experience. What's even more impressive is that it got a beautiful RGB LED that glows right underneath both analog sticks and it looks absolutely fantastic. Additionally, two additional grip buttons on the back added further enhance user convenience, making the ROG Ally an absolute device to use. Now, if we look at the Aya Neo 2, the design here is pretty much different from the ROG Ally. It has the same ergonomics as its predecessor Aya Neo Geek, as it comes with similar palm grip. However, its triggers and joysticks are particularly noteworthy, as they are among the best available in the market. These components utilize Hall Effect sensors, which use magnetic fields to accurately track your input or movement, resulting in superior accuracy and responsiveness. These joysticks also with RGB LED glows underneath, which looks absolutely fantastic. On top of that, a fingerprint sensor has been incorporated into the power button, which can recognize multiple fingerprints, enabling you to share the device with your family. In addition to these features, the device also boasts a dual mic design, a TF card slot, and two Type-C connectors for effortless connectivity. So visually, ROG Ally does seem more appealing in terms of aesthetics. On the other hand, you also cannot avoid the build quality of Aya Neo 2, as it is built with Hall Effect sensors, which is one of the best among other handhelds on the market. Next up is the internal specification. The complete internal specifications for ROG Ally are yet to be revealed but Asus has shared some exciting details about its processor and display. They have partnered with AMD to develop a custom Zen 4 RDNA3 4 nanometer APU, which is currently the most powerful processor ever used in a gaming handheld device. This is a clear indication that ROG Ally is set to exceed expectations when it comes to performance. On top of that, it features a 7 inches 1080p resolution screen with an impressive 120 hertz refresh rate which is quite rare to find on gaming handhelds these days. Also, the display is capable of reaching up to 500 nits of peak brightness and is a 5 millisecond response time, making it a truly wonderful choice among other handheld devices available in market. However, the Aya Neo 2 is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 6800U processor, even though it might not be as powerful as the ROG Ally's custom one but it is currently the most high-end processor that is being used in handhelds. Besides that, it has DDR5 memory supports of up to 32GB and 2TB of SSD storage, ensuring swift performance even for modern AAA games. Additionally, it got a 50.25Wh battery, which is capable of delivering a maximum of 2 hours of backup during heavy usage. The display on the other hand is completely bezel-less, unlike ROG Ally. It delivers an even wider vision and it comes in exactly the same size 7 inches. Besides that, this screen also features 400 nits of brightness and 135% of the sRGB color damage. Well, since the full specification details for ROG Ally haven't been out yet, we can't actually fully compare them both. But judging by what details we have so far, it seems like ROG Ally is completely on a different tier, with a high power processor and higher refresh rate display. As we jump almost to the end, the official price for the ROG Ally is still unknown. But yeah, we can clearly assume it will cost around $1,000 or so, given the fact of how powerful it is. On the other hand, the base price for the Aya Neo 2 starts at $1,099, which is also a pretty decent price for a modern handheld. Either way, both these handhelds are pretty amazing portable gaming devices, but ROG Ally does hold the potential to outperform Aya Neo 2. 
that's all there is to the ROG Ally vs. Aya Neo 2 comparison video for today. Thank you for your time. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below to let us know what you think. If you'd like to receive more content like this in your feed, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button.